Hello, hello, how you doing? It's been a long time coming. Yes, it has. It's uh, End Time Ears, and this is Brother Sean, and um, better known in most places as Pastor Evans. And yep, this is another little segment. Um, I didn't want to read, I didn't want to rush into a, like a long, lengthy uh, uh, session this time. I just wanted just to, you know, just, you know, not just give you something, but just just give you a um, uh, a little, you know, a little something, you know, you know, a little little teaching, you know. what I'm saying, you know, not nothing too hardcore yet. You know, I got like I said, I got some irons on the stove. I got many irons on the stove, and uh, just uh, just been dealing with a whole lot for just outside of ministry, but <clears throat> there's still no excuse. Sorry, um, and uh, you know, just. Give you a little, you know, a little taste, you know what I'm saying, of what we got coming. Uh, the next topic I will be dealing with is called the Queen of Heaven. Uh, excuse me, hello. <coughs> excuse me, I'm sorry about that. But the next topic I will be dealing with is the Queen of Heaven uh, out of the book of Jeremiah. And um, I want to, I'll be dealing with like, you know, chapter one and the other verses going after chapter one for, versus the... Uh, the reason why a lot of the people uh, rejected God, you know, and whatnot, and I'll be dealing with that. Uh, but uh, on another note, um, just give you update. Uh, they got Meg the Stallion in the news again. She's uh, talking about how she, well, the baby say that she that he slept with her right before the incident with Tory Lane. But I I believe that. Meg the Stallion is a blind witch. She's doing a lot of stuff she's not that she don't know she's doing. Um I, I, I know she know what she's doing on one end for is the mentality of the hip hop world. I believe that her handlers are misguiding her and telling her to do certain stuff and you know, I believe that uh witches are in control of her career. Uh I believe that, that warlock her boyfriend is controlling her on a lot of stuff. Um I mean, it's just a lot of things that I see that um, when you look at her lifestyle, that um, and look look at some of the stuff. Even Lizzo, both of those, both of these women, Lizzo and Megan, their lifestyle styles are being ran by the Illuminati for real, and uh, it's being dictated. Uh, Lizzo, uh, I I I got a picture of Lizzo where she's, um, you know, I hope. They don't take it down. If I, I'm gonna try to post it with it, but if they, if they don't, I just, or I just uh post it on my uh, Facebook page. But uh, and I gotta be careful when they do it. I post it on there. You know, when they start taking your stuff down and start coming and fighting against you, that's when you know you're doing your job. You know, so. But um, but uh, Lizzo, I had a a picture clip where Lizzo was actual in the actual picture. Instead of them using the black and white checkerboard, she used the pink and black checkerboard, which is the same thing. Uh, and uh, graphically, they show the pyramid with the heart inside of the pyramid. It shows that actual imagery. And that's basically, you know, saying I love the Illuminati. Uh, she's giving herself over to Illuminati. You got to understand their language and what they're saying um, one of my teachers, um, he just posted some stuff on his thing. He was just telling me, and, I, and I've been following him for years, and he's real heavy into it in, in the esoteric, uh, new agey, Illuminati community. He says that you have to understand what is the message they're saying. I mean, we could look up the 666s. We could look up the different uh, goat heads and them throwing up hand signals. Okay, that's a given. That's cliche. That's that's public knowledge now. But what are or what is they saying to... Um, to make stuff um, clear or clarity of of what they're trying to push, of the agenda they're trying to push. Well, I, I mean, for one of the things I do know what they're trying to push is dark light, the uh, uh, light or uh, black light. You know what I'm saying? The dark light of the Illuminati. The, and the dark light translator equals to antichrist they want to put they want to push the the duality the male and female genitalia merged as one which that's what the anki is in uh egyptian magic and uh the all seeing eye so when you get ready to break all these down they want to push the homosexual agenda that's one thing they want to push the homosexual agenda to help birth or make uh, the world uh, a duality or a dark light where it can be dark enough for the Antichrist 
to manifest. Well, he's already been manifested in different ways because the spirit of Antichrist is but 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 preparing for his coming on the scene. The you know the Bible must fulfill itself. The scripture will fulfill itself that he he shall he shall manifest himself, especially after the rapture has taken place. Once the church have been removed, the salt of the earth now. Come on with me. Then the Antichrist shall unveil himself. Not so much to bring a uh, uh, a totality of, of of a supreme royalty of the six 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 chip agenda. That would be optional for the first for the first three and a half years, according to the text. Now the second uh, three and a half years, the mark of the beast should be pressed upon. They, they should, they're going to start bringing pressure. They're going to start uh, telling people, hey, you know, look, you got to take the mark or you won't eat, you won't buy, you won't be able to sell. You see what I'm saying? Uh, um, a, a, a measure uh, a measure week for uh, a, a penny wage, you know, for a day's wages. So you, you got to understand that you, you can take a piece of gold. A, a gold will be able to buy, you know, 18 to 20 ounces of gold will be able to buy you, you know, a loaf of bread or half a loaf of bread. That, that's how bad it's going to be. Uh, it's going to be so bad during that time that it's going to be three men or four men be able to walk with one woman. There still won't be enough protection for her. You know, demons and devils will be, is going to walk this earth, uh, you know, they walking it now. But they, but out of the old players, a lot of the old demonic, crepit players, the evil demonic spirits are going to walk the earth and begin to bring devastation or destruction towards of man, or oh, you see the actual uh, attitude and characteristics of nature going against and rebelling against man. Not so much God, but I believe nature is, is going to uh, uh, be obedient to God. I believe that some of this um, this nature, these disasters, are going to be uh, uh, God driven. You know, because of the unthankfulness the, and the rebelliousness of man and the sinful nature of man and man not yielding to God, man not paying tithes and offering, man not being obedient to God, man not living, saving, walking right. When I mean, I mean man, I mean man and woman, I mean man and female, men marrying men and women marrying women. I'm sorry, but it's the truth. You know, I mean, I mean, I don't believe in, you know, I'm saying same sex marriage, but you, I mean, but at the same time, and I'm not the judge. I don't believe it, but God will be the judge of that. And according to his text and his, and the Bible, you can try to change the Bible all you want to and say that King David and, and, and Jonathan was lover. That's not true. When you go back and study ancient Hebrew and go back and study the actual word lettering and, and, and uh, 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 scripture, you study the word of God. It's not true. Same sex marriage is, is not of God is is of the Satan is of is of the end the end time is 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 going against God. You see what I'm saying? And so we must understand that the Bible is fulfilling itself. You see what I'm saying? And so when you see all these different times and times are changing, they they changing all the different laws. They they changing all the, the different decrees that's going out with, with these different laws. Politicians have given themselves over to the darkness, have given themselves over to the uh, end time, and have you know came against man. I mean, came against God, you know, and 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 I've and made stuff uh, laws and stuff all for for uh, the people of God for the church. You see what I'm saying? Once the church is once the church is raptured, then you will see the full ambitions. Of the spirit of, of of Satan, you will see you will see Lucifer because you got because you got Lucifer, you got the Antichrist, you got the false prophets, you got demons and devils, then you got other uh, big boy uh, uh, fallen angels that that coincide with Lucifer, and all these will will have headship in the earth realm and they will rule. Then you got the the wrath of man, the wrath of devil and his followers. And the uh, and the uh, raft of God all gonna be one big kahundra, gonna be one big uh, 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 spillover into the earth realm, and then you will see the full dis uh, display in the ambitions of the enemy of the of the spirit of darkness in the end time. And so we got to be careful. We got to be prayerful. We got to pray over our households. We got to pray over our children every day. We got to pray over our wives. We got to pray over our husbands. We got to pray over our food. <clears throat> Excuse me. Our food is uh is help destroying us. They want the the uh the offshore bankers, aka Illuminati, um the uh the uh uh uh, uh, uh the, the Georgia Guidestones, their their full goal, which is which is nothing but the Illuminati. They they want to destroy mankind or the or the useless 
eaters, as they call them, the useless eaters, as they call them, <laughs> the sheeple. They want to destroy uh, all the people that that that, that don't have a uh, uh, or can contribute to their new esoteric society, their new agenda, their new their new world order, a uh, world. You know, and and if if you don't if if you can't contribute. If you're a person with high blood pressure, you know, diabetes and sickness and disease or got cancer or whatnot, is uncurable or whatever may be the case, they don't want you part of their new world. They want if especially if you don't take the the gene uh tablets or the uh, you know, be a part of the, the chip. Cause see a lot of people think that it's it's COVID, but they're missing the big picture. So I, I hear a lot of Bible prophecy teachers and I and I and I hear them study and I say, well, you know what, if you take the COVID, you got the beast, you got the mark, and you know, it's, it's you know, it's all about, you know, DNA changing and all that right there. Okay, I get that part about somewhat with the DNA. I get that part about shooting it in you. But see, the real uh kid kaboodle, man. Go back, come in, come on, y'all, come on, y'all Bible prophecy teachers. Let's keep it real, let's keep it real. Come on, let, let's don't sensationalize. You have to go back and really study now. When you go back and you look at the Bible, the Bible talk about be a mark in their forehead or in their right hand. Okay? Let's keep it real. So when you go back and really study, okay, have we have have we gotten a mark in our right hand and our forehead? No, we haven't. So you, you, you got to have an apparatus, I would say a small chip decoding inside of that that uh inside the apparatus where it can be frequency locked. You see what I'm saying? And so the test run they ran with COVID uh, set up the system of the mark of the beast. So come on, let's 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 let's, let's, let's get a full understanding. I believe it affected us. I believe that that the uh, that the uh, COVID affected us. I believe that the COVID was a uh, was a, a, a guinea pig test through 5G networking system and and they use frequencies to bring about the sickness. Most of the sicknesses that we that all of us have dealt with or even dealt with, a lot of this stuff been here before. A lot of the cancers, a lot of a lot of the stuff that's been amplified dealing with our lungs, dealing with our uh you know uh different sicknesses with our hearts, with our uh, with our uh, colds and scientists. I believe a lot of this stuff have been here before. It just amplified it and turned up the frequency. So when they get ready to present the chip, the chip is going to be a whole different level. That's when our DNA will be changed. Then now I do agree, but I just don't agree that it was the COVID. I believe that the, the chip is still going to be a big part. And I believe it's going to be like a little small, super-sized flake chip that's going to be uh, encoded or, or begin. They're going to try to inject in us through a liquid capsule that would dissolve and be placed inside of our hand of our bodies because they've already experimented with the chips and the chips, you know, are, are doing it. I mean, they, there's outstanding technology that they, they, they stuff, the concepts and the, and the different apparatuses that you can control through the chip, you know, you know, but you got to remember one of the fallbacks they have to the chip is the people receive balls. Well, ain't that funny what the Bible says and the Bible talk about how that they all who received the mark of the beast, the six 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 that they receive, they receive balls in, the, in their body. It's in the Bible if you haven't told it out. <clears throat> so, the, so let's not centralize. And no, we're not opening up no seals. The seals are not being broken, and the trumpets are not being blown. You know, and the bowls have not been filled because the the trumpet of God for the rapture of the church have not took place. You can say what you want to say about the church. You can say what you want to say about you know people about this pastor, their pastor. But God is the judgment going to start in the house of the Lord, and God is going to begin to clean the church up and get the church right and get ready for His coming. And then when Christ come back, He's not He's not going to come to the earth. He's going to come to the sky, and He's going He's going to call forth the saints, and the saints going to get raptured. Then when the saints get raptured, then all that will trickle down. So let's not, so let's, let's go back with the scriptures say now. Let's don't, let's don't take the Bible out of content. You know what I'm saying? You know, let, let's, let, let, let's, let's get a full understanding of how the, the rapture and, and like my pastor, is, I'm, I, my pastor Craig, he's coming. Trust me, he's coming. Oh my God. I know I've been saying it for almost a year, but he's coming. He's going to bring clarification about the rapture, about the second coming and the rapture. I have not forgot. So, but um, I have other uh, news. Uh, 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 we're having an actual Bible study. Uh, Pastor Wanda is over the actual Bible study. Uh, great woman of God. Uh, she's from. Uh, she's part of our ministry. Uh, she's located out in I think Atlanta, Georgia, I believe. 
and the other members, I think, across the country. But she's having the actual uh, biblical Bible that's going to it's going to bless us. Um, I can't remember the actual, uh, cause I don't have my paperwork before me, but, uh, the people that's going to be, uh, but I know my pastor, Bishop Pellis Club will be, uh, presenting one. I know another pastor will be presenting right here in Shreveport, Louisiana. And, uh, and I will have that posted on my, uh, on my actual, uh, page and also on my other social media, the actual flyer that, that was given me digitally, uh, I will be posting it and, uh, it's called a biblical Bible study, and uh, it's going to be great. Uh, I've seen other ones that she's had, even the ones online, so you know, but it's going to be good. But uh, I just want just to get, see what else we got coming up on our agenda. Oh, I got um, uh, Angel Technology. I have um, uh, uh, the Queen of Heaven teaching. I have uh, more end time info, uh, even the dealing with the, uh, the UFO uh, phenomenon. And also um, uh, more insight about the actual Nephilim giants, because that's a big part of what's going on and what we're seeing, uh, the world that we're living in. You've seen uh, a lot of the teaching of the fallen being displayed out through the ambitions of men that worship Lucifer. So you see in that actual play, you know, so we'll be actual, uh, you will be, uh, going discussing those different things and more interviews and more documentaries. So, uh, but this I just want to wrap this session up. Just want to give you a quick tidbit. Uh, this is uh, Brother Sean, better known as Pastor Evans in most places. Uh, if you haven't received Christ as your Lord and Savior, now is the time to receive Him as Lord and Savior. Now, we pray with me, Lord God. We come before you, and we ask you, Lord God, to to save us and to forgive us. And we confess our sins, Lord God. And we ask you, Lord God, that we are a sinner, Lord God, that we was born in sin and shaped in iniquity, Lord God. And we ask you to forgive us. Now we ask you, Lord God, to save us, Lord God. And, and oh, Lord God, and refill us with your Holy Spirit or fill us with your Holy Spirit, Lord God. And Lord God, that, that we receive you as Lord and Savior. And in Romans, it said, in Romans 10, 19, and thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart, believe in your heart that Christ has risen from the dead and he has all the power and all the glory. And he's sitting on the right hand side of the father that he that he and he has saved you and we receive you and that your blood, that your blood purchased us, purchased us, Lord God. And we thank you for saving us, Lord God. And we accept you as our Lord and Savior. And we thank you, Lord God, for saving us, Lord God, and being our God. And Lord God, we accept you and we follow you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. And if you have any special with prayer requests or anything, just hit me up uh, on my social media page or, or give me an actual uh, uh, message, send it in the comments. And I want to pray for all the people that are sick and heavy laden. Lord God, I pray for these people in the name of Jesus, that you touch these people, Lord God, that you save them, that you deliver them, that you heal them, Lord God, that you remove burden, stress, pain, hurt, harm, or destruction, Lord God, cover them with your blood. And Lord God, we receive you, Lord God, Lord God, and we ask you, Lord God, we receive your healing, we receive your deliverance, and we receive your, your salvation, Lord God. Now, touch those souls, Lord God. Touch those lives. Give blood to your beings, Lord God. And we thank you, Lord God, for strength, favor, and blessings, Lord God, and cover them, Lord God. Lord God, we thank you, Lord God. Cover children, Lord God, and cover their minds and hearts and souls of, of your people, Lord God. And Lord God, be their Lord God. And Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, that we will be your son and your followers, Lord God. And we will be careful to give you all the glory, honor, and praise, Lord God. In Jesus' name we pray. And Lord God, we say amen. And don't forget now, we got some more things coming up on End Time Ears. And uh, this is Brother Sean. Uh, don't forget about... Uh, my sisters, uh, Pastor Wanda, uh, about the, the biblical Bible study. And, Lord God, we thank you, Lord God. And we will be careful to give you all the glory and the praise, Lord God. And, Lord God, we thank you now, Master. And this ends our session of End Time Is. It's a, a quick tidbit. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs>